I've just started the amount of substance topic with my year 12 A-level chemistry students. So we're sort of using mole ratios for some students for the first time. So I just thought I'd make a quick video to explain how we use them and what sort of things we can, we can do with them. So we'll start with this really simple equation. So we've got magnesium carbonate makes magnesium oxide and carbon dioxide. So the mole ratio in this equation is effectively one to one to one. Okay, so you notice there's no number in front of any of the species in the equation. It is balanced. So what that means is for one mole of that, you'd make one mole of that and one mole of that. Okay, so let's imagine we, we've got slightly different numbers. So let's suppose we start with 0 0.1 moles of the magnesium carbonate. So the ratio is telling us for every mole of that, we're going to make a mole of that. So if we've got 0 0.1 moles, we're going to make 0 0.1 moles of magnesium oxide. Likewise, we'll also make 0 0.1 moles of CO2 because that's a one to one ratio as well. Now we can also apply the mole ratio backwards. So let's start with magnesium oxide. Let's suppose we wanted to make 0.75 moles of that. So how many moles of magnesium carbonate we're gonna, are we going to need? Well, it's going to be the same because of the ratio 1 to 1, 0.75. And then how many moles of CO2 could we make? Well, we could apply the ratio going from here to here if you want. It's going to be 0.75 as well. So that's a really easy one because it's all one-to-one -one ratios. So we'll move on to this one now. So we've got sodium reacting with water to make sodium hydroxide and hydrogen. So if we've got two moles of that, we're going to need two moles of water. We're going to make two moles of sodium hydroxide. We're only going to make one mole of hydrogen. So we've got a two to two to two to one mole ratio. So we're just using the numbers in front of the uh, species in the equation. So let's start with 0 0.05 moles of that. Let's suppose we've got 0 0.05 moles of that. How many moles of water would we need to react with that exactly? Well, it would be the same because we've got 2 to 2, which is a 1 to 1 ratio, so 0 0.05. How many moles of sodium hydroxide could you make from that? Well, you could use either of these ratios, that to that or that to that. It's, it's the same. So it's one to one effectively. So we'd make 0 0.05 moles of that. The hydrogen, well, if we look at this ratio, that to that. So every two moles of sodium makes one mole of hydrogen. So 0 0.05 moles of sodium would make half as many moles of hydrogen. So that's 0 0.025. Okay, so let's apply it backwards now. So let's suppose we wanted to make 0 0.01 moles of hydrogen. So how many moles of sodium would we need? Well, apply the ratio this way. So one mole of that needs two moles of that. So that many moles would need double. So it's going to be 0.02. If we want to make that many moles of that, we're going to need double the moles of water. So it's 0.02 again. And then how many moles of sodium hydroxide would form? Well, it's going to be double as well. So there are the numbers for those moles. And the final one is this one here. So it's got the most awkward ratio in it, I suppose, of the three that we're looking at. So the, the ratio is one mole of nitrogen reacts with three moles of hydrogen and it makes two moles of NH3, which is ammonia. So let's start and say, right, we've got 0 0.1 moles of that. How many moles of hydrogen do we need? Well, we're going to need three times as many because that's a one to three ratio. So that's going to be 0 0.3. How many moles of ammonia can we make? Well, the easiest way to do it is on this ratio, this one here. So that's one to two. So that would need double, oh, sorry, would make double 0 0.2. You can apply this ratio, 3 of that makes 2 of that. So 0 0.3 moles of that would make 2 thirds, so you get 2 thirds of the ammonia. 2 thirds of 0 0.3 is 0 0.2. hope that didn't confuse you there. 
So let's do a backwards ratio. So let's go 0.6. We want to make 0.6 moles of ammonia. Well, how many moles of nitrogen are we going to need? So two ammonia is going to need half as many, or one mole of nitrogen, so 0.3. And we can apply the ratio anywhere now, so we could go this to that, so nitrogen to hydrogen. So 0.3 nitrogen will need three times as many moles of hydrogen, 0.9. Or we could have gone 0.6 it's going to need three over two times, one and a half times uh, the moles of hydrogen, which gets you to 0.9. Hope that was helpful. If you want me to do anything different, any other topics, just give me a shout and I'll see what I can do. Cheers.